To graph a linear inequality, you start by using the same steps that you would for just graphing a regular old line. When we have y is greater than 2 thirds x plus 2, the plus 2 is my first point, so from the very, very middle, I go up 2 and put the first point there. Then my slope is the number right next to the x, is that 2 thirds, so I go up 2 and right 3. And here's what starts to get different. Because this is a, gr a greater than symbol, this does not have an or equal to, we don't make a line like we usually do, we make a dotted line. If it had been greater than or equal to, then that would have had a solid line. Now, then we have to either shade above the line or below the line. And the trick is just if it's a greater than, you shade above the line. If it's a greater than or equal to, that's still some kind of greater than, so you shade above the line. If it had been a less than of some kind, you would have shaded below the line. So for the other two examples, if instead of greater than it had been y is less than 2 thirds x plus 2, that still would have had the same up 2 for the starting point, up 2 over 3 for the next point, still would have been dotted because it's still not an or equal to, it's just a less than. And then we just, if the y is less than, you just shade under it. And you do still put arrows on those dotted lines. Last of all, if you have y is less than or equal to 2 thirds x plus 2, that goes the same way because this has an or equal to. If you have an or equal to, you have a solid line. And then a less than means you shade under it. And that's really all the rules for linear inequalities right there. Graph the line as if it wasn't equals. The same starting point, the same slope things as usual. Those same steps from the last two videos. And then if it has a, if it has a solid line under it, if it has an or equal to, you give it a solid line on the graph. If it doesn't, if it's strictly greater than or strictly less than, you put a dashed line on your graph. If it's some kind of greater than, you shade above the line. If it's some kind of less than, you shade below the line. That's all you need to know to graph a linear inequality. So let's do some more examples. Y is greater than or equal to x minus 1. So our starting point is that minus 1 that's my y-intercept from the very, very middle. Go down one, put the first point there. Then what's my slope? Let's see, whenever we have x by itself, that's the same as 1x. Whenever you have a whole number slope, you put it over 1 to make it a fraction. Remember those tricks from the last video? We're still using them here. So our slope is 1 over 1. From this point, we go up 1, right 1. And then we make a line through there. Now, this is an or equal to. So we get a solid line, not a dashed line. Last step, we're going to shade. Since we have a y is greater than, we shade above the line. And that is all there is to it. That's how you graph a linear inequality. To graph this linear inequality, we need to get y by itself. If y is not by itself, you want to graph a line or a linear inequality or anything based on a line, you want to get y by itself. So, to get y by itself, first up I'm going to move over this 4x. I'm going to say plus 4x because that will cancel out the minus 4x. Plus 4x and minus 4x cancel. Negative 2y is still negative 2y. Greater than is still greater than. Then 6 plus 4x, you just write 4x plus 6. Those are not like terms, they don't add together. We still want to get y by itself. We need to get rid of this minus 2 now. To get rid of something that's multiplied by y, you divide by it. Negative 2y divided by negative 2 just leaves you with y. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Now, when you divide by a negative, that flips your inequality around. It used to be a greater than it flips over and becomes a less than. That only happens when you multiply or divide by a negative. Just having a negative in there doesn't move your inequality around at all. It's the fact that we divided by a negative. 
or if we were to multiply by negative, that would also move it over. It doesn't happen if you add or subtract negatives, only when you multiply or divide negatives. So now we have y is less than negative 2x minus 3. Remember, if you have a whole number slope, put it over 1 to make it easier to graph. So first point, we've got a minus 3 by itself. In the very, very middle of the graph, we go down 3 and put the first point down. Then my slope is negative 2 over 1. That's a negative slope, so I'm going to go down instead of up. Down 2, 1 to the right. There's my next point. Now I'm ready to graph that line. Now this is a lesson. It does not have an or equal to. So it gets a dotted line. And then lines do have the errors. They go forever, even if they're dashed lines instead of solid lines. And then because this is y is less than, we are going to shade under it. Don't think about left and right. Just think less than is under the line, greater than is above the line. And that is the graph of that linear inequality.